In the political season, my guest this morning is um, Honorable Adeyemi Ikuforiji. The name rings a bell. You think immediately of the Lagos State House of Assembly. He's a former speaker there. He's a lawyer. He's an economist. Good morning to you, sir. Good Thank morning, you for making morning. time. Thank you so much. For <laughs> it's our pleasure. We just thought that um, we, we need to hear from um, uh, veterans, experienced hands in the polity. Uh, so coming to Lagos here... Um, Look, it's just 19 days. It's uh, where, where the inauguration is upon us. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, well, first of all, it's just round the corner, 19 days, and then the president-elect will become the president of the Federal Republic. By the grace of the Almighty. Indeed. Uh, because, um, yes, the matter the some people, you know, uh, Atiku and Obi, you know, well, maybe I should use their parties, uh, PDP and uh, LUP, both of them. In fact, are in court. I think there are five parties that went to all of to those court. people. But that they, means exactly. it's already getting dissolved one well, by exactly. one. Exactly, <laughs> they're sort of dropping out one by one. But there are those that are adamant, and um, they, they, it is their right. Let them be there. Uh, justice will be done. But exactly. what we have right now is that. INEC has declared the winner of this election. Definitely. Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tinumbu is the winner. And Atiku came second. And Obi came third. Uh, Obi actually, you know, has said that he won that election. And he said he's about to prove it. Again, we wait. <laughs> we wait. Um, but beyond all of that, into the administration of Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, what can one expect? Because I recall that... Um, you worked very, very closely with him for a very long time, uh, right, uh, right into your time uh, in the Lagos State House of Assembly, and then ending up as speaker in the Lagos State of Assembly, uh, which was uh, eight years ago. Time flies. Yeah, that's true. Time flies. <laughs> so, give us an insight into what you would expect the administration of Wolamet Tinubu to be. You're a lawyer. You're an economist. Let, maybe the economy. The economy is going to be very, very uh, important, right? Definitely. Mm. Uh, well, thank you very much for that. Um, like you said, um, I worked very closely with Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinobu. Uh, so my knowledge of him mm -hmm. is a first-class first First-hand knowledge. It's not about ESA. It's not about, oh, people said this or people said that. I had... Very, a, a real first class knowledge okay. of him, working closely with him, officially and even personally. I mean, we, we had and we still have a very robust relationship. Excellent. Um, be that as it may, uh, yes, I'm a politician and I belong to the APC stock, but those who know me, in this arena, mm -hmm. they also know that I talk frankly. Okay. I call a spade a spade. I don't call it by any other name. If I have reservations, yeah, I talk about it. But if I believe this is what it is, I tell you exactly as it is. And today I'm happy uh, for what you have just put across to me as let me say a question. Look, by the grace of God, I am sure Nigerians will be happy that they elected Bola Ahmed Tinobu to lead this nation for the next four years. And I'm also sure that uh, come 2027, in fact, the, the struggle for uh, 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 electing a uh, president will just be like uh, a, a butter and bread. <laughs> you know, like it will be like tea, milk, and sugar. So, <laughs> because. It's like the mandate is likely to be extended. Nigerians will be too happy. Even those who did not consider him fit mm. today mm -hmm. will be too happy to go to the poll to show their gratitude to God mm -hmm. by re-electing him into office. Look, this man 
It's a special breed. A very special breed. Okay. And I say this uh, with all sense of responsibility. This is a man who has his whole system. Everything about him is about people. It's about development. It's about how to solve people's problems. Especially uh, human capital development. That's right. L let me take it from about two, three angles. When you talk of Bola Ahmed Tinubu democracy and as a Democrat, you can hardly find in, in Nigeria living today who struggled, put his line is live on the line for the democracy that we are enjoying today as much as Tinubu did. He risked everything about him. He risked his life and all his possessions for the actualization of the June 12, 1993 mandate of MK Wabiola. And don't forget, even when the military decided to conduct election and hand over to the civilians. And Tinubu became the governor of Lagos. He was the first person in this country that kept that hope alive, that, that reminded us of June 12 by institutionalizing a holiday, putting up a holiday for June 12. Today, many years after, Nigeria realized that that is the right thing to do. But he, he was the pathfinder. He was the pathfinder. This is a man who sees beyond the horizon. He's, he's a man who knows his onions and his he, he, he had no sleep. That's the honest truth. And that is why you see people complaining today about, uh, hey, he's not healthy. Hey, he's not. Who is not healthy? If you work closely with him, if you have close uh, I mean, uh, uh, interaction, interaction with him, you see how smart this man is. You see how much he works. Some of us who were far younger, mm. who had the opportunity of working closely with him, <laughs> the period we spent working with him, He's already telling on us <laughs> because yeah. this man had less sleep. I have heard that, that um, uh, those who work closely with him say, the man, there's no, there's no gentle there's way of no putting one, it that he's a workaholic. If there is no, he's not just an ordinary workaholic. If there is another word that can describe somebody who is work himself, that word should be used for, for Tinubu. He walks around the clock, and I think when he's even sleeping, his brain is still <laughs> working on how to solve problems. So you expect that this attitude, this is not going to change. A leopard, how, a leopard doesn't how, change his how course. How can he change? He started it from early in life. By the time he got to the point of even... Uh, uh, no, please continue. By the time he got to the point of becoming governor, he retained this. He continued with it for his eight years in office. It was like that. Look, when I was speaker, sometimes I worked till about 11 p.m., sometimes till midnight, and it's only after that mm -hmm. that I am going for consultation <laughs> with him. You, you eat your dinner around 1, 2 a.m., and you continue. So that was the kind of, well, that's that's the kind the of time, hectic pace to be expected. What it, and uh, by 2, 3 a.m., you will see this man as if you know, you are, is, is 9 a.m. Yes. in the morning. Yes. 